Okay, so I'm starting off this video with the original Harley, of course, because that came first. And what I'm doing right now is actually sketching out where her little collar is, the little dresser collar. And I do this with a white or nude eye pencil because it's the easiest thing to erase if you mess up. And I did mess up quite a few times. So now I'm starting with black and I took the Mayron black paint and I'm just painting the black side of the neck as well as the empty space um, for the rest of like her shirt, I guess is what it would be. This part takes forever because you want to make sure you stay in the lines with what you've sketched. Then I'm going in with the red, which by the way, does not come off. <laughs> it is so hard to get off, but this is also from Mehron. All the paints I use are from Mehron pretty much and I did have the red inside a palette. I ran out of the black in that same palette so I had to buy another one which is so annoying. I also had to buy another one of the white because I've been doing so many face paints and so many like body painting um, costumes for Halloween so yeah but now I'm just painting that white part of the collar and just making sure I stay inside the lines again this is the hard part the white is so patchy sometimes though so you have to be careful not to go over it too many times or it's gonna look really strange but I think I did pretty well for this one and now I'm just outlining the white with black paint and it just is gonna make it stand out a lot more make it look more cartoonish and 3d and of course going down my eyebrows this doesn't really matter too much because I'm end up going over it in black I actually have since I did this tutorial learned how to do my eyebrows cover my eyebrows a little bit better so stay tuned for that but now i'm just pretty much painting the white on all over my face and i found that using a sponge makes it a lot less patchy and it, this is a dry sponge because if you use a wet sponge it's just going to soak up all the product and i just found that this was less patchy and the best way to apply this white paint now i'm just drawing in the black mask with black paint i did originally draw it with a white eyeliner pencil just to make sure that i had it set before I went in with the black paint and this is just a lot easier to erase again than black paint so you want to make sure you do that especially if you're prone to mistakes like I am but basically I'm doing like the other layer of black paint making it thicker so it looks like it's actually covering my eyes but I didn't take it too low because that's the way Harley has her mask on so basically I was looking at a cartoon or a picture of cartoon Harley just to make sure that I did it right. Now I'm going in with the black from the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. I'm so happy I have this palette because I could just like mix and match and I'm creating the outline of Harley's lips and it does go out a little bit kind of like a clown. After I did that I realized I wasn't done with the eyes and I wanted to do some liquid liner on my lower and top like part of my eye and now I'm just doing some of the highlighting so I took a little bit of white paint but like very little and not a lot of water so it's a little thicker so I could create like the highlight and make it look more dimensional. Then I took some shadow and it's like a gray taupey shade that I always use in pretty much every video and I did a lot of shading in the collar and then I just put on a red lippy and I did some more dimension with black because that's the way she has it in most of the pictures and I created that one little highlight strip of white paint and that's pretty much it for original Harley. I love her so much. I love the way this turned out. And now moving on to Modern Harley, which is honestly not my favorite, but I really love Margot Robbie and I love Suicide Squad. I know that's going to be such a controversial topic, but I really did like it, but it's, she's just, I like the original Harley a lot more. This one's a lot easier to create, especially like with the paint, I guess. And first I sketched out where her shirt is, but her shirt is only two-toned and it's really just red on the top and white on the bottom. So that's what I'm doing here. And again, the red is so hard to come out. Like it was ridiculous. And also it looks pretty patchy in some places as well. You just have to make sure you do a thin layer first, let it completely dry and then um, go over it again if you really, really want to. Honestly, I recommend just getting her costume <laughs> because this is just like, like I really want a Harley shirt. I just have never gotten around to getting one, but that's why I just painted it on. And I was gonna go the extra mile and write Daddy's Little Monster on the shirt, but then I was like, eh. For foundation, I'm taking the lightest foundation I have, which is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation. When I first got this, I got the shade F3, which is way too light for me, but I did also mix in the ColourPop no filter concealer or whatever in white just to make it even more white because honestly harley is super pale in the suicide squad and i did take my juno and co sponge this is the microfiber sponge to blend that completely out and yeah just make myself look really pale i look so weird i mean i know i'm pale but like i'm not this pale for concealer i took the ColourPop no filter concealer in the shade white just to conceal my under eyes honestly the white is so difficult to work with and that it looks pretty bad <laughs> um i recommend getting a lighter 
lighter shade like probably the second lightest not the white because the white I guess white is just so hard to work to formulate I guess and it just made my under eye look super weird when I, I finished this but I did want the like I wanted to look just like Margot Robbie in Suicide Squad and she is very pale they made her very pale and I set the concealer with my Cody Airspun loose setting powder and now I'm just working on the necklace which honestly I am not happy with I just did not know how else to do it so the necklace is put in honestly recommend just getting the freaking necklace and not and saving yourself this kind of trouble but basically I sketched out first in white pencil of course and then I took a yellow paint and now I'm taking a gold cream paint from that palette that I got from Amazon I think it's called CC Beauty something or other but I'm just filling in the outer parts as well as the inner part of the word like the bubble letter I guess I just I don't know how else I could have made this look more like the necklace I outlined it in a bunch of shadows made the shadows look more 3d I guess made the words look more 3d but I just I wasn't happy with it in the end now I'm moving on to the eyes and I took my be perfect cosmetics carnival XL pro palette and I took that really dark pink shade I can never tell if her shadow is pink or red and then I took a nice blue shade that I had in there as well and I took it all over my lid and into my crease and as well as under the eye because I honestly didn't want to make the eye look so complicated so I just did one shade blended it out really nicely and that's pretty much it I sketched out the heart as well as the word on her face and I just um, outlined that with the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid liner which I honestly don't recommend using for this kind of thing because it's actually kind of hard to work with I really love the eyeliner as an eyeliner but to write down words and to sketch some things out I don't recommend and then I also sketched out the rotten in white as as I said before just always sketch things out in white because you can easily erase that if you mess up and then go over it it's just easier to trace something that's already there so that's what I recommend doing for lips I took the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade red rum i feel like this is the best interpretation of what her lips actually look like i mean i made my lips a little too big like i overlined them a bit but not overlined them i overdid them but then i smudged the outer corner like she has and then i put blue and red paint in my hair which i regret immediately i actually put more pink than red but whatever um that's still in my hair to be honest it literally won't come out but it was so much fun creating this evolution of harley quinn over time i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye